right guys um, I'm back again we're gonna do a couple of more um, embellishments for our journal today what I want to do is uh, a clip this is just a jumbo paper clip this is six inch piece of the lace that we've been using I'm gonna fold this in half tuck it through the single loop side and I believe this is called a lark's head knot. I'm going to tuck the tails through and pull it. And then I'm going to trim this down a little bit because I don't think it needs to be that long. Like that. Yeah. So, and I made one earlier, so now we have a couple of paper clips just to tuck things in when we get to the journal cards or whatever. Um, the other thing that I want to make is a flip over. Now this flip over idea, uh, let me show you what it looks like. It looks like this. It flips over a page. Um, I got this idea from, well I first saw it, flips over a page like this. So you actually have a, a piece on here and then a piece on this side. I originally saw this idea um, on a Trace of Sparkle. Trace of Sparkle? Yes, on YouTube. And um, she got it from Lori, Girl on a Ridge. Um, and I just love it. And so I make these all the time. They're very easy. You just start with a piece of paper. I'm using this other uh, cut off again. This is three by six and I fold it down about two inches on this side. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is add lace to both sides so it's a little bit decorative um, I did go ahead and pre-cut these make time go a little bit faster this will probably be a really short video sometimes when you think things are going to take longer they don't take as long as you think um, there goes my son again. Hope you guys can see okay. Okay. Now, you could just use it just like that. This gets paper clipped to one of the pages. You could use your fancy paper clip you just made. Um, you could just leave it like that. But Lori does these little envelopes that are so cute. And um, this is just a piece of coffee dyed paper, just a scrap. It's about one and a half by, okay, three and a quarter-ish. Um, so we're just going to put a point on one side. Like so. And fold that up. Then we're going to take the other end. So this is the top of our envelope and fold it up, not all the way to the fold, but about there and you have an envelope. Now I am going to glue that closed because it's, it's just decorative. So I'm just going to put a little bit there, fold those flaps down so they stay, and then a little bit here. Fold that down so it stays. And then I have a little bow that I've tied with a piece of that same lace. See, that what makes it coordinate is using the same things throughout the book. It's, it's not necessarily what you use as much as repeating the patterns throughout the book make it coordinate. So, all right. I'm just going to attach the, the envelope here. And it's okay if the envelope's a little crooked. It's handmade. We're not going for perfection. And then I'm just going to put this little bow here on the side at an angle. Like so. Okay. How easy and simple is that? Um, that's redundant, but you get the point. Okay, so let's see where we want to put these. So... Um, I think we've got something on most of the coffee dyed pages. Uh-oh, got some, some glue. 
Um, we could do the back side. Sometimes I'll do one of these. What do I have here? Let's see how that coordinates with that. A little busy. Um, let's keep going. Belly band page. Yeah. Okay. So let's use the the graph paper page. Where did I put that? Here it is. Let's do the graph paper page now. So we can go either way, but um, we're going to go over the top, so it's going to affect both sides. Now, this will coordinate with this envelope because it's the same pattern. So how's that for cool? I'm going to put the larger side on the back. And I am just going to use a, a small paper clip for this one because I want it to go. Um, my bow moved on me. Stay. I, I just want to be able to paper clip it without having it go too too far down into the lace or what have you. Okay, and then that will add color to this um, page. So let's come back here and do the same thing. We've got this envelope. Uh-oh. That's what happens when I don't let everything dry. Okay, good. We recover. Um, yeah, this one just over the top here. Another paper clip just to hold it in place. Actually, I think I'm going to come over here on this side this time. And there we go. Isn't that cute? So, what do you think, guys? Are you liking what we're doing? Um, the next video that we're going to do is tags. So I'm going to probably use one of my templates to do some tags and journal cards that I have. Um, I have this. It's, it's in the... Uh, I'll probably do this with a couple of sheets and that'll give us our journal cards and, and some tags. And then we have the, uh, extra cutoffs too that we can use. So I probably, probably only do one page of this and, um, and then do the um the cutoffs as well so i hope you're crafting along i hope you're enjoying this series i've heard some good feedback um and also i want to just say welcome to all my new subscribers I, I you guys i'm a little overwhelmed at um at the love and um i so 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 appreciate you taking the time to come and like my videos and subscribe to my channel and comment it it touches my heart and a big shout out to dawn at the book vandal shop for featuring my channel on friday um that's, that's just awesome she doesn't have to do that it's very time consuming and i just uh really appreciate her so hope everyone has a great weekend and i'll see you next time